Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share the most important winter styling tips so you don't look like a potato and instead you stay feminine and warm. Today's video is kindly sponsored by Ana Luisa, which is a sustainable jewelry brand that's 100% carbon and water neutral. So what does that mean? That just means that all of the carbon dioxide that the company produces and releases into the environment is actually offset by the equivalent amount by preserving forest areas. So this is just something that's great for the environment in the long term and is something that we can do to kind of preserve and conserve our planet as much as we can. They were kind enough to send to me four pieces to share with you guys, three of which are featured on me right now. So the first one is this Jack's ring that I chose and it's just this gorgeous X-shaped Pave Cupid Zirconia ring that's plated in 14 karat gold. All of their jewelries are plated in 14 karat gold on either sterling silver, a stainless steel, or brass. So I love this ring because it's very statement and it's very elegant too. And they have a wide selection of rings, either daintier or statement, and they stack really well too. So I like a lot of the rings and I wish I could pick up more. And the second piece that I picked up is this Vita necklace here. It's a very dainty necklace and it's also kind of like a little pave V here in cubic zirconia and it just looks really chic, really cute and you can layer either chunkier or other dainty pieces with it as well which I love. And the last piece that I picked up is this Joanne earring. So this earring is a little pearl earring which you can't go wrong with pearls, right? With a little chain hoop detail which makes it look a little bit more edgy which I love. So the final piece that actually didn't arrive yet is this slim gold chain necklace. So I know gold chains are kind of on trend um, and they're kind of in these days, I think in the chunkier fit, but they carry a wide selection of either chunkier or daintier chain necklaces if you're interested in checking it out. So they actually have a holiday sale that's going on right now for up to 25% off. So if you're interested in any of these pieces or if you want to check out their jewelry, then definitely click on the link in the description box below. All right, so let's move on to the style tips. So style tip number one are these two-tone full sheer leggings slash tights. So these were a game changer for me when I first discovered them. And what they are, they're basically a, like the name suggests, there is a nude layer of fleece tights underneath and there's like a sheer stocking layer on top of it. So these are great because they give the illusion that you're just wearing plain black stockings but you're warm and cozy because of that fleece layer underneath. These can be purchased on websites like Guest Style and eBay, and they come in either footed or leggings version, depending on what you like. And you can actually pick the thickness of the fleece underneath. You can choose the thicker ones or the thinner ones, depending on how warm you want. But do note that the thicker the fleece you pick, it will make your legs look a little bit more padded, if you will. So if you didn't want to just go ahead and invest in one of these pairs, you can actually DIY it and buy a pair of nude leggings or tights like I'm wearing right now. You can actually lay on top of it a sheer stocking of your choice. So my favorite sheer stocking brand is Sheertex. It's not sponsored by Sheertex, but they're just basically an indestructible tights brand that's you know not supposed to rip or snag, which are commonly the most you know, annoying issues with wearing stockings. So definitely check them out if you're interested. Now you can get the same stocking look and stay warm at the same time. All right, for style tip number two is to layer with color blocking. So winter is all about layering, but to make a coherent outfit, so a good rule of thumb is you should have a maximum of three colors from distinct color families. For example, white, red, black. Similar colors like camel and brown can technically count as one color. So the easiest is of course monochrome outfits, right? Those look the most chic. And you can even do two colors or two colors in an accent color. Or if you really wanna look chic, do the three colors, but have one piece of that outfit or different pieces of the outfit play off of the other pieces that you're wearing. So everything ties in coherently. So shoes and bags don't need to match as long as your pieces are playing off of each other and the colors are seen kind of throughout your outfit. In this pairing, I wanna show you guys an outfit using three colors with an additional accent color. 
The button details on the vest matches the button details of the Louboutin booties, the black color of the Celine bag, plays with the black vest and my leather gloves, and the gray coat pairs nicely with the shorts. The accent color of the red in the shoes can be further accentuated with red lips. The use of alternating colors in this outfit provides more interest and contrast. Usually when using three colors in an accent, the three colors should be neutrals. In this case, white, gray, and black are all just different shades of the same color family, which is why it's easier to use them all together. So style tip number three is to pick cashmere over wool. So I've recently discovered the joy of cashmere and it's really hard to go back to wool after because it's not just the softness, the comfort, or the better drape. But the, did you know that cashmere is actually seven to eight times warmer than wool, even though it's thinner? The property of this material is that it's very breathable as well, so it helps keep you warm without making you sweat, which is awesome. Unlike polyester, which you know doesn't breathe at all, so it really kind of makes you sweat. I know it comes with a hefty price tag though, so you know definitely look into it if you want to treat yourself, you know, because you're worth it, or if you want to just invest in some staple pieces for the long term. I really love these Club Monaco cashmeres. They're just so so soft at a reasonable mid-tiered price. Style tip number four is to wear an underlayer underneath of your outfit. So I know some of you already know this, but Uniqlo makes this heat tech line and they make these short sleeve or long sleeve tees that you can easily layer underneath of whatever it is you're wearing to add more warmth. So other easy base layering pieces you can play with are thin turtlenecks or drapey blouses with nice collars or just like a simple dress shirt. Those are all great basic layering pieces and it can actually add to your outfit and provide a little bit more interest. So I know Banana Republic does this really well these days. I think they change stylists or something. All their pieces are styled so nicely on their website, even it's like a plain v-neck sweater. So one of the pieces that I'll show a picture on the side here, they styled a turtleneck together with a v-neck collared wrap dress. And I thought that just looked really interesting. So, you know, definitely play around with any of these layering pieces if you want to be more warm, or if you just want to layer an underlayer underneath of the unique low tees, then definitely do that as well. Step tip number five, it is these nude tights, either fleece or a normal 80 denier tights. So hear me out, okay, this is both a do and a don't. So nothing looks weirder than you being in the dead of winter and somebody is wearing a pair of short shorts or short skirt with nude tights. So it's even worse if you're wearing them as pants because then it just looks like you're naked. I've seen that at an Asian grocery store before, so please don't do that. But if you wear it properly, which is if you wear them, say, you know, with a meaty dress or a meaty skirt and some ankle boots together or under pants as a layering piece for additional warmth, or even with over the knee boots. So basically anywhere where the skin show is only about a couple inches at best, you can get away with these nude fleece tights so that way you can look natural without actually being bare skin in the winter time. The caveat to this is that you have to pick the tight color that is matching your skin tone because there's nothing worse than having yellow March Simpson legs. Am I right? I've definitely made that mistake before. Style tips six, seven, and eight all have to do with shoes and how to make you look taller, especially important for petites. So as a petite, we all know the goal is to vertically elongate us and to make us look taller. So in the winter time, there's nothing that will shorten us more or cut you off than pants or leggings in a different color than your shoes. So the more contrast the color is, the more of that cutting off effect it will have. You do not want to be cut off at the ankle because when everything is the same color, your feet is perceived as being part of your legs and that will vertically elongate you. Um, that's why wearing pants and leggings in a similar color or the same color as your shoes, for example, all black, will make you look the tallest. Bare legs will elongate the best with brown and taupe shoes. Also, when I'm wearing meaty and maxi length dresses, I always add a little bit of heel to my shoes so it shifts the proportions that way I'm wearing the pieces and not the other way around. Style tip number seven is comparing sock ankle boots and wider ankle boots. So I love them both equally and they're great for different types of occasions, but if you really wanna elongate and have your legs be continuous with your shoes and with your feet, then I would definitely pick a sock ankle boots and they work great under dresses and skirts a lot better than wider ankle booties. However, the caveat to that is that if you have longer feet or you know bigger shoe size, you might wanna stay away from the sock booties because the contrast of the skin 
skinnier ankles with your feet will make your foot appear larger. The wide ankle boots are great in casual occasions, but if you're really trying to elongate, then that horizontal line where the shoe starts, it can really just cut off the whole sleek appearance that you're trying to go for. Style tip number eight is to wear over the knee boots to keep you warm and to help make you look taller as well. The reason I love over the knee boots is that they there's no question about it. Your feet become now a part of your legs and there's no horizontal line cutting you off right at the ankle. So it really just gives you an elongation effect, especially if they're a little bit heels as well. Um, you can also wear over the knee socks underneath if you're over the knee boots if you really need that additional warmth. And it can also help slouch your over the knee boots that don't fit as tightly stay up a lot better. One thing to look out for when you're wearing over the knee boots is you want to try to stay away from wearing really tight mini skirts with high heeled over the knee boots since it can look a little bit risque there's nothing wrong with that if you're trying to go for that sexy look but if you want to stay a little bit more classy then you want to try to avoid this look well the exception to this is if you're wearing a coat that is longer in length preferably to the knee or a little bit longer, or if your dress or skirt is a little bit looser fitting, a little bit more A-line or flared, then I think the look is totally okay. Style tip number nine is to use tucking to adjust your proportions and to look better. So my favorite ways to tuck are the bra tuck, the socking slash spanx tuck, and the belt tuck. So the thing I love about the bra tuck and the um, belt tuck they are great for bulkier sweaters for when you just don't want to stuff it in the bottom. Otherwise, it's going to look really bulky, really overflowing. And you can also make your sweaters crop to whichever length you like, which is going to adjust your proportions and make your torso look shorter and your legs look a lot longer, which is great. The stocking tuck is great for when you have to get everything into the bottom for that sleek, clean look, but you don't want to have those lines showing through that outlines exactly where your top ends. So that that one you can do with spanks or you can do with stocking and then there it's actually kind of a game changer once I learned this because now you don't have to worry about seeing those lines and it just looks a lot more cleaner and a lot more sleeker. All right, so style tip number 10, and I've run out of fingers and we're almost at the end here. It's the importance of wearing the right coat length for your outfit. So in the winter time, we have to wear a coat over top, so it doesn't matter how great your outfit is underneath. If your coat doesn't go with the look, it's gonna make your outfit look a little bit not as great as it could have. So one of the big things when you're wearing meaty length dresses or skirts is please, please, please do not wear a hip length jacket. Because the problem with this is that it's really going to make your torsos look a lot longer and your legs look a lot shorter. So if you're going to wear a longer length dress underneath, then please either wear a crop jacket or a jacket that goes almost the length of where that dress or skirt ends. And that's going to give you the best appearance. All right, so a bonus tip is to don't forget to wear your jewelry in the winter time to really give accents to your look and dress it up as well. So a special thanks again to Anna Lee. And if you're interested in their jewelry pieces, then definitely click on the link in the description box below. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any other questions, just leave me a comment.